हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट टुडे इज ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर 476 ऑफ सर कैलाश चंद्रस वॉल्यूम नंबर 22 ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ 120 वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन I also join in paying my tribute to the Bose Commission for doing this monumental work and giving us a report which is very revealing and which points to some of the glaring defects and deficiencies in our law and administration which has resulted in large scale fraud on the public as well as on the government normally one might take a cynical view and say that wherever there is profit motive people always try to amass as much money as they can through various devices some legal and some extra legal in the hope that they might not be caught and one has to reconcile oneself to such a situation unfortunately we are so situated today that it is not possible for us to take such a cynical view both the defense and development of this country require large scale economic expansion and howsoever i may wish it is not possible for the public sector to undertake the sole responsibility of this economic expansion we have therefore to depend upon the private sector upon the corporate sector for our economic development and if this sector does not play its part honestly and efficiently it will not only be a question of moral turpitude of a personal character but it would spell disaster to the country as a whole we have therefore to take a very serious view of the defects and deficiencies that have been pointed out in the commission's report to my mind this report has two aspects one is to bring to book those who are found responsible or who are found guilty of breaking the law and committing the fraud I am sorry to say that in this connection the government has failed in its duty to bring to book the culprits all these years as the minister has already pointed out since 1989 rumors were heard about certain irregularities and breaches of law by certain concerns a very complicated and long drawn out machinery was put into motion in order to deal with this complaint we had first certain investigations then investigation by the cbi then a commission then another committee to give legal advice as to what should be done and now again inspection by the company law commission and by the cbi much precious time has been lost with the result that evidence is not available and whatever one might do it is now quite certain that the guilty will not be brought to book i am not one of those who would advocate any historic prosecution of any person whatever be the sentiment in the public it is the law which has to take its own course and as far as we the members of parliament are concerned we have only to see that the law does take its course and that the government does discharge its duty it is not for us to recommend who should be prosecuted and who should not be prosecuted because we as members of parliament are not competent to do so but certainly we are entitled to register our sense of sorrow when we learn that the machinery that was put into motion was so complicated and so long drawn out that prima facie it is now 
likely that all the guilty are not to be brought to book here again it is not just a question of bringing the guilty to book though that by itself is a very commendable object and it is the responsibility of the government to do so however in the present circumstances this has become very important because a feeling is growing in the community that you can do anything you like and get away with it that the administration of law in this country has become so lax that it is possible for you to indulge in all sorts of mal practices there is no fear of law in the minds of the public especially in the minds of the business community i am very sorry to say this i have said at the beginning i know we have to depend upon the industrialists and the business community and the private sector for the development of our economy and it would not be wise to pass any judgment in a generalized manner but with all sense of responsibility i am constrained to say that today at least in the industrial community and the business community respect for law has disappeared and a feeling has grown that you can do anything you like as long as you are clever enough to hide what you are doing this particular report is a monumental testimony to this fact and because all those who are responsible for the crimes that have been indicated in this report are not going to be brought to book because of the type of machinery that was put into motion the feeling is likely to go abroad that you can get away with such crimes 